Kia ora and welcome. Whether you're new to New Zealand or have been living here for a while, this video will help you to understand the New Zealand health and disability system and the types of health and disability services available. I will share information about how to enrol with a family doctor or general practitioner called a GP and why that's important for your health and the health of your family. The services available in primary care which is where family doctors are found, and in secondary care, such as specialists, and when to use the public hospital and other services in the community. I hope you can use the information to access the right services for you and your family at the right time and close to home. Health and disability services in New Zealand may work quite differently from other health systems in other countries where you may have lived. So please listen carefully so you can better understand and know how to best use the New Zealand system to meet your needs. The Ministry of Health, or MOH, provides national policy and funding. It also oversees and funds 20 district health boards, also called DHBs, across the country. And there are three in the Auckland metro region. They are the Watamata DHB, in the north and west areas of Auckland, Auckland DHB in the central Auckland area, and Counties Manukau DHB in the south and southeast areas of Auckland. DHBs are responsible for providing health services, for example, public hospitals, as well as local planning and funding of other health services. What that means is they fund primary health organisations, also called PHOs, to provide care to their local communities, mostly through general practices, also called medical centres, found in the community close to where you may live, study or work. DHBs also provide community health care such as community mental health services. You can look at the health system in two parts, primary and secondary health care. Primary health care includes the family doctor, dentists, pharmacists, allied health such as physiotherapists, podiatrists, counselling and other related services. Secondary health care is that found within the hospital system, which can be either public or private. You can also see specialists in the hospital environment who work in the community as well. A family doctor or GP is part of the primary health team and is a doctor who looks after the health of your family. This is the most important person you should see for your health in New Zealand. Your family doctor is the first person you should visit if you are worried about your health or the health of your family. Family doctors are found at a medical centre, usually close to where you live. A family doctor can also help you find specialist services at hospitals in secondary care and other health services in the community. A practice nurse is another important primary health professional who works as a team with the doctor and provides a number of services. In New Zealand, the number to call if there is an emergency is 111 for ambulance, fire and police. If you need language support, you can receive free access to trained interpreters when you visit your local family doctor, public hospital or other public health services. In New Zealand, the Ministry of Health through the District Health Boards DHBs, heavily subsidises health services if you're eligible. To be eligible for publicly funded health and disability services, you need to be a New Zealand or Australian citizen a New Zealand permanent resident, hold a continuous work visa for two years or more, or a refugee and protected persons. If you do not meet the eligibility criteria, you will have to pay for medical services, but you will not be refused emergency care if you cannot pay. Check first if you are eligible. You can go to the Ministry of Health website. If you're an international student, you will not be eligible and it is compulsory for you to take out medical insurance if you are working or studying here in New Zealand. So you've now come to the end of this video. The take home messages are, firstly, 
Your family doctor or GP is the first point of medical treatment. Find someone who is the right doctor for you and you feel comfortable with them. Then enroll with the medical center. Two, get your health checks done regularly. Three, know where to go when you're unwell or if it's an emergency. So our family doctor first, or our private after hours A&M clinic, or our public hospital emergency department for an emergency. Call the health line number if you're worried or unsure and want to ask a question. And five, it always pays to be organized. So plan your visits, P-L-A-N, so you can get the best out of your time when you talk with a health professional. Lastly, use an interpreter if you need language support. I hope you have found the information I've shared about the New Zealand Health and Disability System helpful. Thank you. Now it's time for you to share what you've learned with your friends and family so we can all live well, stay well and get well.